Welcome to another podcast by Denise, your host of Denise's Dialogue. Any questions or comments about today's podcast, please email her at Denise's Dialogue at gmail.com. Hi, welcome to Denise's Dialogue. This is Denise, and I'm with Morpheus Black. <laughs> Morpheus Black, my or, husband. Or, or Jeff, whatever you want to call me. Or J. Jeff, or therefore. Therefore, or, I am. I go by a lot of names, but most of my. Um, as long as it's respectful. As long as it's respectful, but you know. Um, today, we'll be talking about survival prep, so, as in if there was a war or whatever. How okay. would we survive? How would we survive? Okay, first thing, um, uh, let's talk about survival prep. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you a story, okay? Oh, here we go. <laughs> and I'm going to say, <laughs> but before I tell you the story, I'm going to tell you what led up to the story, okay? Okay. Okay. First things first. Russia is in conflict with Ukraine, Ukraine, right? Mm -hmm. And what Putin did, he got on the news and said, you know, nobody wants to interfere. There'll be consequences. He said that on the news. They keep playing the clip over and over. You got CNN anywhere. Yeah. Basically, Putin, in reality, Putin just said, fuck around and find out. Yeah. Now, so this war is going on. Our country is part of the, the NATO, part of NATO. NATO. Okay. Putin is part of, I forget what they're called, but um, I know North Korea and China is his allies. I don't know all the countries as allies, but they are. Now, with that being said, first things first, um, any country would have to be crazy as hell to attack us, right? Mm -hmm. And if you think you're going to invade us, you're crazy as hell too, because we got people out in these streets that are killing each other. For no reason. For no reason. So they would love to kill you. What you think is going to happen is when everybody got a common target. You know, these fucking Black Lives Matter people, these White Lives Matter people, all these gangs, um, racist people, they all yep. got one target. Yep. That's what you don't want to do. This country have, have, the United States have more private gun owners mm -hmm. than we have military personnel. True. And they're just waiting Looking for you to reason. fuck around and find out. That's my new word right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so what led up to this? So Russia is fighting Ukraine and Putin said what he said. But my thing is this. It won't take much to cripple the United State, States at all. What do you mean? Because everything about this country you can find out online. Um, when the war first started happening, these knuckleheads on CNN was brought, I forget which report it was, broadcasting where our troops were in the NATO countries just around Ukraine, which is stupid. You shouldn't put your positions out there. No. Second thing, you can find out online where every nuclear launch site is located inside this country. But you don't got to do that. All you got to do is cripple our electric. It's called the electric grid. There's a big power plant that distributes all this electricity. You know, it's not it's a lot of them, but not a lot of them. But you shut those down, you'll cripple this country. So that's what came up. Actually, wait a minute. Didn't that happen on <clears throat> some movie or something? Yes. I can't remember the name I don't of the remember the name of the movie either, but we were crippled. Yes. But that's what barred on my war prep, as as she calls it or I calls it. It's it, <laughs> it's not that. Anyway. <clears throat> it's so, survival. But what me and some friends were talking about, um, and again, because of what they do for a living, they're going to uh, name, they're going to remain anonymous. But you know, Cece's fiance, Anita's husband, um, <laughs> Zoe's uh, boyfriend, or Zoe's whatever um, man, um, th those are the people that I was having a conversation with their, their spouses and significant others. <laughs> Um, so the conversation got into what would happen if the power actually went out. My thing is, if the power goes out, <clears throat> we'll still be in the house here, but we might not have no electric, no gas. So part of my prep was I went and ordered some MREs. I ordered ramen noodles, so you can just cook them on an open fire, some water. I don't 
And um, fire starters. Um, my other buddy was talking about magnesium. He purchased real cheap from someplace. What is that? I heard it's it's it makes a spark, so you can start a fire with Kindle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, but we were talking about all these things. I I, I actually bought two books off Amazon. One is um, what's that name of the book called? The Survival Handbook. And the other book is called um, The Guide to the Edible Plants, is it? What's, what's that second book there called? The Complete Guide to Edible Wild Plants. Yeah, The Complete Guide to Edible Wild Plants. I bought both of these books off Amazon real cheap because if something happens, you know, I know things are going to shoot up sky high in price, but they got things about mushrooms, mm-hmm. berries. We need um, to get a farm so we can plant some of this stuff. Queen Anne's lace herb, whatever. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff. Potato leek, not wood dressing, high bush cranberry. They, they got a lot of stuff in here that. Um, this book is pretty interesting. Yeah, it tells you here. Take that one. It tells you about what everyday plants that you might see out there in the woods you can eat. And and one thing I do want to say is usually if if deers eat it, you probably can eat it too. And you know, and the, the SAS Survival Handbook is a guide for everything. Um, nuts, fruits, tropical plants, um, hunting, fishing, you know, um, emergency needs, poisonous plants, it shows you, edible fungi. I guess you have to make sure you put your <coughs> books in place so you can find them in the dark. It shows you how to hunt a bird with a snare. <coughs> um, quite a couple of things, and it shows you how to smoke teepee, how to smoke your meat. Um, clothing, waterproof clothing, footwear, and stuff like that, tie knots, um, Tell you about moving in groups, breathing but unconscious, whatever that means. Oh, first aid. See, first aid. Uh, tell you how to clear the throat. Um, throat. Um, tells you how to check a pulse. Dangerous <coughs> bleeding. Well, we know a lot of that stuff already because we were EMTs. For Emergency a while. childbirth. So that um, helps. Waterborne diseases. Heat stroke. Tell you the symptoms. Sunburn, sore eyes, treatment, cold climate hazards. Do the other people, the other, your other friends no. have that book? Or no, they... no. Um, the, the only one that's really prepared for anything would be um, Nita's husband in the South. Yeah. Because he, he has a room in the... Uh, you got a bunker? He, no, that's, that's him calling me right now. All right, hold on one second. Hold on. Yo, I'm going to call you back in a couple minutes, all right? Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Yeah, anyway... um. That that was some called me, but yeah, he he has like a room where he he stashed up. He got MREs and stuff like that in there. So oh, anyway, okay. um, <clears throat> so our our preparedness is um, so order this food. Um, like I I got camping gear, cooking new tents because we I used to go camping a lot when I was younger. Um, we have to get some potted meat, spam, um, uh, lighting the sausages. Yeah, get, get stuff that can last a while. Yes. Yeah, get stuff like sports. that. Um, we got a few guns upstairs. We did. We had a few guns for, I would say, close quarter combat, but nothing real for distance. And that wasn't in the mix because we already had uh, firearms. But my wife decided she wanted something compact. So we went to the store today to look at some uh, some compact uh, firearms. Yes. And while we was there talking to the guy, I saw he had a... Um, AR sitting in the corner. So I asked him about it. He goes, oh, that's sold. But I got these here. So I said, let me see it. So he showed me some on the shelf. And he showed me one that came out to be a decent price. So we wound up purchasing the handgun and the uh, AR. <clears throat> is, is that the gun that all these clowns running around the streets are shooting people with? I have no idea what oh, they should do, but no, people in, AR something. P- people, no. 37, 27 something. It's an AK-47. Oh, okay. No, that, that's old. People don't use uh, many long guns anymore. They always oh, handguns. Okay. But um, anyway, um, you know, so we're prepping, and I, I think she, she was, Katie was shocked today when the box came in. <laughs> the rock had uh, two cases of ramen noodles in it. Yeah, I was shocked. With, um... Two cases of ramen noodles with a fire starter. It's like this thing that helps you start fires. But I'm going to get a couple of the magnesium sticks, too, to help out. I still want to see what that is. I had one here 
If I can find it, I'll show it to you, but I'm going to go get a few because they're only like two bucks at Harbor Freight. <clears throat> That's not the thing with the flint, right? Yeah, you strike it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, war prep. Or survival. Or, or survival. As, I, I, as he likes to call it. I, I, I call it survival. Um, I, I really do because I think if something happens our power grid goes down, um, not only will we be sitting in the dark, um, people tend to get crazy real quick as soon as something happens. And yeah, everybody panic and lose They their panic. Um, there's always some bad people out there that, that want to loot something or break in something. So, yeah. um, again, I hope it doesn't come to that. It's like um, having a, a firearm, as I always say, is like a tool. It's better to have a tool and not need it than need a tool and not have it. Absolutely. So that's the way I look at it. And okay. the, um, the, the one, the long gun that was purchased today is my, um, again, I hate to use the same word. It'd be my fuck around and find out tool. Have you ever thought about getting a bunker? I can't be in a bunker. Isn't, isn't that something that, like you have <coughs> to build it in your house or under the house well, or um, something like that? Usually a, a basement can be considered a bunker. The only thing about building but the bunker... But it has to be sealed up, though, right? So you can't... Well, the, the, the only thing... Like about in-ground basement on, type on, thing, Most right? people who have bunkers, they know me out there, like in the Midwest, especially with tornadoes. Yeah. Um, a real bunker is going to have some type of ventilation in it where it can scrub the air, too. Oh, okay. But the only thing about having a bunker underground is that if something does happen, now somebody got to dig you out. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You gotta be dug out. Well, I guess if it's not <clears throat> too far under. Well, you figure. I, I, don't know. <coughs> I only see it on TV. Well, most but pe- most they people never show exactly how far underground they are. Well, I mean, if if we live in an area where there's a lot of tornadoes, yeah, like yeah, if, if, if 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 I I was Craig, I probably would have a bunker for a tornado, but his basement is considered a bunker. You have a basement? Yes. When you go in his garage, that you're in the basement. Where, his, where the TV's at, where he falls asleep all the time while we're playing the game. That's the basement? That's the basement. Oh, okay. Yeah, so his, 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 his if you ever remember looking at his house, mm-hmm. his basement is underground. The only side that's open is with a door where you come in at. Everything else is underground. Oh, yeah, it's underground. I never noticed. Yeah. I'll have to check that out next time. Yeah, so, you know, but if we live down there, um, I, I will probably have an underground bunker. Because with a tornado, you don't got to be underground. You just need a place to go that's so the wind, because the wind's tearing things up. Yeah, they do have a lot of tornadoes yeah. and hurricanes down there, though. Yeah. Well, other than that, up fun. here, in the north, we don't need it. But e- even the, um, most of the stuff I've been getting is because of what's going on right now with this war. Yeah. And I know how easy it is to really attack the U.S. and knock out our power grid because everything is on the line. You can find anything about this country, you can find online. Well, hopefully it never happens. Yeah. So, so that'll be... Um, we stop reporting every move we make. Yeah. So th- my thing is that that would be too easy. They, they make it real easy to, you know, to really cripple this country. So now plus I know if the power does go out, they're going to worry about getting the military bases up first. So we might be without for a long time. But they probably have some type of backup. Well, who knows? Like I said. They but can't just have, like, the one switch. There's uh, got to be a backup uh, okay, somewhere along okay, the line. Okay, look at it this way. On, um, they built a substation in Ewing, New Jersey on Prospect Street. That's over by the storage bench? Yes. Oh, that's what that is? You knock that out. All that power going through there is feeding a lot. I think a lot of that power feeds like the towns, Lawrence, and stuff like that. You knock that out, you kill them cities. Hmm. So that's just a small one. Imagine a big one that's got a turbine and all that stuff running in it. Yeah. <clears throat> I still think they, got the, they have to have some type of backup. Yeah, plan, you know? Hopefully they do. Hopefully but, they do. Yeah. You know, but again, if there's a backup plan, it's online. You can find <laughs> it. Just as well as kids can go online and figure out how to build a freaking bomb. You can yeah. find anything online. Yep. Oh, and that's the problem. Um, 
it's good to have the freedoms, but sometimes freedom is too much, especially if you get stupid people doing things. Yeah. Anyway. What about that? That is uh, our prep story. That is our prep story. Hopefully we won't have to use it because I really don't like ramen noodles. But <laughs> <laughs> if you need it to survive, you need it. I mean... There, there, there's going to be other things, but like I said, I got, I got, the, I got the MREs coming. That means you got to have some water stashed, stashed away somewhere. We got, we got the, we, you can take river water and boil it and drink it. You just got to boil the bacteria out of it. Pans. Yeah. So, like I said, you sternals, I think that's what they call them. No, we can build a fire. Actually, if if power goes out, we'll still be in this house. There's, there's certain things, but you know. Well, it's only to stay dark for. How many hours? Who knows, yeah. And then it's light again. Yeah. So anyway, that is uh, my prep story. That is his prep story. That's my prep story. Hopefully we will never have to use it. But if it comes to that, we're we ready. will be prepared. And we, and we will be prepared. Yes, we will be prepared. Us and our friends. Always think family first. In my inner circle, is considered family. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> well, th- thank you for listening. This is Denise from Denise's Dialogue. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>